Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're here for Windbreaker episode 11. So last episode was kind of the conclusion to our uh, arc verse Shishtoren, where um, we kind of ma made uh, made friends with everybody in their gang and whatever it may be. And uh, we saw a very wholesome moment, wholesome moment between Choji and Togame, where they, um, uh, they kind of reconciled and Choji uh, proclaimed that he wanted to... Uh, uh, change Shishtoren and do better with his friends and make up for his past mistakes. Uh, overall, it's just a great episode. We also saw Sakura um, uh, kind of going through a lot of uh, mental turmoil, I guess the best way to put it. Like he was, um, he was definitely going through it mentally. His mental state was being challenged and his uh, um, um, his ideology on how to get to the top was being challenged directly by Umemiya himself. Uh, and so Sakura's clearly got a lot to learn but I'm sure his development's gonna be awesome as we progress. And uh, it was really great to see Umemiya kind of interact one-on-one -on -one with Sakura and uh, get to the bottom of what his conversation was with Togame and all of the above. It was a great, great episode. <clears throat> Excuse me, it was a great episode overall. Um, but now we're heading back. I don't know what the last three episodes of this series are gonna uh, contain. I'm assuming we're gonna probably, I think I talked about it last episode, but we're probably gonna go meet uh, the other um, uh, people uh, that we saw very early on. The dude with the mohawk, the orange haired guy, the pink haired guy. We're probably gonna meet them and maybe some of the other higher ups uh, that are in, uh, that are in, um, Bofurin, so we will just have to see overall who we end up meeting, and where this final arc of this series leads us. The Shishtorden arc was amazing, uh, overall just a phenomenal arc, and I'm very excited to see where we continue for the rest of this series. Uh, but per usual, feel free to check out the Patreon and Discord links are in the description below. As far as the Discord goes, we talk about current anime, past anime, current manga, past manga, and have non-anime conversations as well. And as far as the Patreon goes, you get exclusives and uncuts to all of my reactions, so feel free to check out either of those of your own will. But now, without further ado, let's hop straight into Windbreaker. I almost forgot the name of the show there for a second. Windbreaker, episode 11. Back home, patrolling the streets. Oh, he's still not fully recovered from his fight. Uh. <laughs> the... the Oh, yep, hello. Yep, here's your two buddies now. <laughs> I love how, like, he, he's no longer alone. I said I said this also extensively last episode. Sakura is no longer alone. He has these two with him, and they're not going to leave aside. I don't think Suo has any aspirations to take the top, and Nide obviously doesn't. So they're just going to stick around with Sakura because they like him. Embarrass Sakura will literally never not be funny. They will literally never not be funny. Uh oh. His ears are red. His ears are literally red. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You guys are like celebrities now. I was going to say, you guys are 100% like celebrities now at Bofurin because you went and fought with Umemiya against Shishtorden's top people and you beat, you literally swept them. Shishtorden did not get a single win. Then again, I do believe Togame might have won against Sakura if he didn't give up at the last second, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> <laughs> Sakura doesn't know how an impromptu interview. Sakura doesn't know how to deal with all this. <laughs> he doesn't know how to deal with all the people. <laughs> yeah, Nire. <laughs> yeah, here's one of the new characters, 100%. He's got the flip-flops on? Yeah, this is the orange-haired guy I mentioned. That's, that's Hoshina's voice actor from Kaiju. That is Hoshina's voice actor. The way he speaks is exactly like Hoshina. Yeah. This is dude doing pull-ups on a windowsill. His question? What was his question? Uh, 
今は桜君や一つ質問や He's definitely not square enough to fight. Yeah, I had a feeling it was going to be something like goofy like this. <laughs> it's like what you're particular about. Already goofy shit. Already starting off with the clown shit this episode. <laughs> yeah. He's got some crazy info. Quite the hefty virtue. <laughs> I like this guy already. He might be a little overwhelming for Tsuo and Sakura, but he, he seems sweet. Oh, God. Damn, nobody wants to. Nobody wants to hang out with him. It's my girlfriend's birthday, you don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sugish just seems to hate his guts, too. It's not even they hate him because he's a bad guy, they hate him because he's just overwhelming. <laughs> Yeah, he just doesn't seem to like you. <laughs> yeah, this guy's definitely gonna be interesting. Damn, just now getting the OP feels like we're already, like, pretty far into the episode. We're four minutes in. Muscle power is the place we're eating at. <laughs> Yeah, he dragged both of them along. We're about to find out. Uh... <laughs> the photo does make it look delicious, yeah. <laughs> if, if Sakura's virtue is anything, it's fighting. That's all he cares about. Like, literally, that is all Sakura cares about. We found out in one of the chibi kind of outro things in one of the previous episodes. When Nita asked all Sakura about his interests, all he could come up with was, like, fighting. Whoa. Has no virtue. Yeah. <laughs> These two are actually going to square off this episode. <laughs> ah, yep. Oh, so this guy's like a ladies guy. Okay. Okay. I see. <laughs> yep. Honestly, not the personality I was expecting. With the fact that he's got his headphones in the entire time in school, this is not the personality I was expecting. And they're holding the hand. <laughs> oh my god! Sagra just even seeing a couple holding hands or doing something couple gets embarrassed. That is actually hilarious. Oh my god. I like... <laughs> oh, never mind. Nope. <laughs> Four of the five powerhouses in class of one one according to my data are right here. The 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 top five Nide has in in the one one class is Sakura, Suo. Uh, and then these other two, whose names are going to take me a second to get down. Suge, I believe, is short for what his name is, so I'll just call him Suge. And then the other guy is going to take me a second. But, all four of them. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> He's just trying to take his mind off the fact that they were holding hands. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah, he just got embarrassed thinking about their relationship. Uh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> さくらちゃんっていうんだ。ごめん、顔は覚えてたんだけど、名前までは過ぎちゃんと。いやあ。ま、メンズ <laughs> 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 Damn! <laughs> and, he did, he, <laughs> and he just doesn't even, he didn't even take that as malice coming from Kiryu. He was just like, yeah, what, what, what are you so upset about? <laughs> oh my god. I, so, this makes it seem like they're not on a date at all. It makes it seem like he might have saved her from some delinquents or something because she seemed like scared of him and he reassured her like no it's okay he's from fooding just like me so i wonder if she was getting like i don't know uh, um um some guys were like messing with her or something and kitty you stepped in to save her and brought her here who knows maybe they are on a date mm, no <laughs> you never get popular with girls damn <laughs> I knew this is where it was going. I swear Suge seems like he can't hurt a fly. Like he seems like the sweetest guy. He's just so airheaded, but he's also super nice. Uh, I don't know if they're holding hands once again. <laughs> yeah, he lowered his voice so much for her. Yeah, they're definitely a thing or something, the way he's holding her hand. That's not that's not what I said earlier about him protecting her or something. But if it is, that I've already tossed it out there if it turns out it is like that. But no, he just seems like he's popular with girls, I guess. He's that kind of character archetype. Uh, is against my virtue, damn. Yeah, he actually got very down about that. Oh, shit. Okay, maybe I was right. Yeah. Okay, I was right. I, I was right. He, he did protect her. They're not on a date or anything. He protected her and then brought her here to keep her safe. Uh, I hope he's still in the flip-flops. Uh, uh, <laughs> Your virtue is be considerate to girls, isn't it? And... <laughs> yeah. We're about to fight. Now is not the time. <laughs> I fucking love Suge. He is awesome. This is the greatest character introduction they could have done for him. Much like how in episode like two or three when we got introduced to Nide and Suo, their introduction was awesome and it was so comedy filled and it was so well done. I think they're they're redoing that here and introducing these new characters so well. I already love these two so much. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, good shit, Sakura. <laughs> Dow lame. Damn. <laughs> I guess maybe Sakura's virtue would be hating lame people. <laughs> Fighting or hating lame people. Yeah. <laughs> <笑>いやあ、マッコンじゃってごめんね。サクッと片付けちゃいましょう。いやあ。どうしゃ。いやあ。デイアン。ね、ちょっと次浦さん。いい声。いや。<笑><笑> 
わしはなまず相手に一発もらうって決めてんねそしたら今度はわしの番や Oh my god! Suge just killed a man! That guy is dead. That guy is dead there on the floor. He's dead. He's dead. He's just dead. <laughs> oh my god! Would it end quicker if I sent him your way? Woo! He just keeps tossing dudes at Sakura. <laughs> Oh my god, the animation going crazy. The way he's hitting him. Yeah, he keeps like just using some kind of like move. I don't know what kind of fighting move that is, but he's pushing them straight at them so they can just beat the shit out of them. <laughs> I'm just a chill guy. <laughs> Bye bye. Just like the rumors. I mean, yeah, you literally have the top four strongest people in the first year here gathered together. These guys stand no chance. Yeah, that's why I just decided to stand there. Yeah. <laughs> He gets so embarrassed. And now they're all beat up. They stood literally no chance. Oh, what, you have the most... Yeah, we haven't gotten their motto yet. Oh, it's this. Okay, yeah, we, we have heard this many times. That is so many dudes. Yeah. <laughs> Look at them all running away. <laughs> Sakura just does not know how to accept a compliment uh, or even a thank you. No, he had headphones in. Oh, are they going to make Sakura their grade captain? <laughs> Sakura's the sweetest man. I love him so much. <laughs> Basically means he doesn't use his phone at all. Context one, weather. <laughs> his only contact in his phone is the weather. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we pulled up to Kotoa's place. Uh, <laughs> he's so embarrassed. Oh, it's just Sakura. He dropped his phone on the floor. Is she gonna see? Ah, there we go. Friends slash open chats. Groups one, friends four. Mitsuki, Kiryu, Taiga, Su Sugita, Hayato Suo, and Akihiko Nide. We got the gang here. Now we, we hey. I think it's about time we get Kotoha's number. <laughs> Is Sakura ready for that? Uh... <laughs> you got yourself Kotoha's contact info. Yay! We got a group chat with the gang. I love how this is so... <laughs> He's like an old man. It's so funny. All of this is so foreign to him. It's so sweet that he's now got a now got a group here going. Uh, Akiko Nire, all of you are so awesome yesterday, by the way. We're still not picking our grade captain yet. Maybe they're going to duel. Maybe that's the next start coming up is they're going to fight for it. Or maybe they'll just pick Sakura. I don't know. It seems like they were kind of on board for getting Sakura a grade captain. He's texting! 
Yeah, what is a grade, Captain? Oh my god! <laughs> he he's text so slow! He texts so slow about, about a million other messages flooded in before he could ask! <laughs> I love this, this is so good! Uh, Nita Chan, you guys were absent two days ago and we didn't do it yesterday either. I'm sure we'll decide when everyone's around. Maybe we'll do it today. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> the convo's over before he can even get a text in. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh my God, this is too funny. You know what happened yesterday? Oh, what happened? There's this new game I recommended, Kiryo-san's recommendation, a game I uh, just might make my debut, I want to try it out, what game, the game is something like this, uh... They put it down! <laughs> oh, Sakura is the best. Also, gotta mention a new Kotoha hairstyle here. Gotta mention it every time they do it. <laughs> you all tech. Yeah, they have no idea why he's angry. Yeah. Yeah, what is that hair? That hair is actually insane. It looks like he's got a hat for hair. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the subtitles are so good. <laughs> this is the funniest episode of the series. This is, I don't know if I'm just in a laughing mood, but this is the funniest episode of the series. This is so good. <laughs> Uh, I feel like he's gonna nominate Sakura. Yep. <laughs> yep, they're all gonna nominate you, brother. <laughs> no, they're gonna the episode there, man? That was like that was legitimately I think the funniest episode of the entire series. That was so good. <laughs> All absent factory resettings. <laughs> it's the it basically just means he literally never touches his phone ever, but his parents probably forced him to get one because he was going out of town, more than likely. Great episode. This show's fucking awesome. I sir I <laughs> I really don't have anything else to say other than I love this show so much. This is easily the funniest episode of the series, if I had to say. Uh, I, I, I think this, comedy-wise, this was definitely the best episode of the series. It was so funny. And obviously, I, I love the new introductions. Suge and Kiryu are awesome. I, I think they're hilarious and gonna be great additions to the cast. And I love how Suo was the first one to nominate Sakura. That's awesome. So we'll see how that uh, captain selection goes next episode. We'll see if we have to have any maybe fights for the captain. I'm not sure. Uh, but at the end of the day, super enjoyable episode, and I'm excited to see how the series wraps up in the next two. I really don't have a whole ton to talk about, so I think I'm just going to keep this ending discussion short here and say that I loved this episode all around. Uh, but I is going to wrap it up for my reaction to Windbreaker, episode 11. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope you all have a good day.